Look, I'm not sure how old some of you guys are. You might be young, you might be old, but what are some of the weirdest people you've ever met in school? I mean, we all have them. Someone who might be a bit of a grease ball who just sits there in silence. If you had to put money on someone shooting up the school or bringing a blade into school, it would be them. They talk about Satan and have loads of draw shit little signs on their knuckles saying, like, Satan is God. Or And then they open their bag and you see, like, fucking weird candles and things for their ritual they're doing. Maybe someone like that. Or maybe someone who's in a chess club. I'm not weird but someone who like just talks about chess yeah, i play chess do you like chess and they just won't stop talking i used to sit next to a bloke nice guy but he wouldn't shut up about chess i don't even know the rules of chess i couldn't even tell you what a chess piece is called you know what i mean a pawn actually i can but or maybe you have someone who's a bit of a weirdo and is into like the weird uh, anime bit of hentai shit Ooh, nasty 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 they watch it in school they watch it on the bus true story again someone got caught uh, in my school not in my year watching hentai on the bus it got out everyone knew and he for the rest for about four or five years he he was known as that guy. He also had a guy called Forky because he stabbed someone in the head with a fork. Uh, good stories, good stories. There are weirdos everywhere you look in life. You're surrounded by them. I'm a weirdo, but I'm a slightly less bit of a weirdo than a typical weirdo. This guy is the ultimate weirdo. Now, when you were younger, and by younger I mean four, five, six, maybe seven if you're a bit of a slow spurter, shall we say, watches, plays Roblox. Now, I was never into Roblox because I'm not two. By the t- I was more of a Minecraft guy, you know what I mean? I used to play Minecraft with my friends friends when I was younger. That was good. That was good fun. Minecraft's a fun game. You can still play it now. Adults still play it now. It requires brain functioning, a bit of thinking. What doesn't require brain thinking is playing Roblox. Now, I know Roblox. My brother used to play it. He remember he used to love a McDonald's one. You'd open a McDonald's takeaway or drive through and you do that shit and it's terrible. But most people who play Roblox are kiddie winks, little children, people who are not adults. Now, if you're a weird weirdo, you might actually play Roblox in your later life. Now, the guy I'm about to show you, look at this man right here. This guy has a moustache, long hair, which is already red flag. Someone check his hard drive. Check his hard drive quickly and bring the SWAT team just in case. You don't know what the fuck is on that shit. Check his hard drive. And guess what? Not only does he play Roblox for a living, so he actually plays Roblox daily, he also live streams it. Imagine playing Roblox at the age of what? This guy must be like 20, somewhere around there. But also streaming it making money off it like fair do chase the bread get the butter but i think i'd rather just be homeless than stream roblox on the internet i would be really embarrassed imagine when like family friends what 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 are you doing i uh i'm streaming roblox to a bunch of little children online while i live in a slob now the reason he lives in a slob you ask because he's a he's an oddball he's a weirdo now i'm not trying to be rude i'm not trying to slate on him but he's a freak all right he's an absolute freak in nature and we're gonna investigate please play that shit daddy kong it's fucking king kong big bong sling gong kink you in your dong even after cleaning my whole room yesterday i got stood up by a girl jewel monitor light this guy's serious by the way this guy's a full hardcore gamer he does not mess about if you want some backstory as well this guy got stood up by a female shocking i know i'm not exactly a ladies man i'm not going to sit here and say what an idiot but i could give you a couple tips mate firstly i'd probably start with washing your hair secondly uh and maybe i don't know get rid of that tash it's not can you even call it a mustache it's like someone who wakes up and forgets to have a shave one morning it's nothing to be proud of and should not be on your face now I even chased all the roaches out of the room. This little guy was hard to catch, but I did get him eventually. Oh my, he says it was such pride. Imagine having a, a roach in your room chasing food, and he walks around with no f- fucking shoes on, and no socks, the dirty rat. An absolute, ugh, disgrace. Imagine having roaches in your room and sleeping there and being like, this is fun, this is nice, I, I call this home, this is lovely. I cleaned up the entire floor. Most of it. What is clean about that floor, mate? It's dirty, like you've had a shit or spilt a coffee on the floor and you've just pushed it into a corner. There's nothing clean about it. It's a disgrace. And it was basically just generic typical oh my gamers room so bro playing roblox does not make you a gamer for starters let's get let's get that out of the way roblox is not a game it's like a piece of shit on the shoe that you sometimes flick at it's like uh what's it called it's like a fidget spinner you know you have fun with it for five seconds and then you get rid of it this is not normal mess i play video games i play video games my whole life playstation pc switch i play them all i love playing video games my room is not 
tidy, all right? It's not messy, though, all right? It's organized. Things are where they're meant to be. Yes, there might be a bottle sat next to me. Yes, my desk might have a few nuts on the floor, but it's tidy. It does not look like a bomb has gone off. Vladimir sent a nuclear bomb off in my room. This is not what a gamer's room looks like. Organization of some capacity is required. My room's not tidy again, but it's not looking like a tramp's crack den. So it really wasn't that bad. It wasn't extreme. It wasn't pushed to the limits. And I sent their pictures. Wasn't extreme, wasn't pushed to the limits. There's Doritos everywhere. She even seemed impressed with the cleaning. So I think what really threw her off might have been, honestly, guys, I can't figure it out. I think it was like molded milk from his half drunk coffees everywhere as well. Like that, that's rank, that's disgusting. Maybe it could have been like the desk just not being clean enough. What could it have been? Hmm, maybe the 12 cups. I don't know. The bloody chalk and cheese you have flying around on the desk. Probably the Chick fil A half burger on the floor. Your stinky slippers that are stinking out the place. Who knows? What a shock. What a surprise this is. Who has the answer? Please, Jesus, help me. What is that? Is that from wear and tear? What is his arse cheeks like? It's like in The Simpsons when Homer lies down and he dents the bed. He must have the boniest bum in the world. I even showed her that. I was like, yo, I got a second chair. You can sit on this chair. It's not even his. It's this set. It's the guest chair. Yeah, he's... I don't believe that's the guest chair because it's had some use out of it. He can't even get this girl round. I mean, look at that. Who'd want to sit on that? I wouldn't even let my dog sit on that. I wouldn't even let a rat run up on that. Jesus, look at it. It's disgusting. We can play games together, play League of Legends. Ugh. League of Legends as well. Need oh my god, he's got mice. He's got mice as well. Oh my god. The, the imagine the stench in the room just walking in. Oh yeah, that was nice. Thanks for taking me off. What the fuck is this? You have mice there, you have roaches there, you have bloody birds chilling in the rooftops. What's going on? It stinks of Chick-fil-A and Bart. Should my rats? I think maybe she didn't like the rats. They're rats! Oh, maybe she didn't like the rats. No, I don't think she would have liked rats. Who likes rats? Rats belong in the sewers and in France. But they're in a cage, so what's the big deal? I showed her old pictures of me. It felt like we were really... Oh, my God. God, this guy's just not helping his causes, is he? Hey, look at me when I was a child and I was cute and, you know, I looked after myself and I didn't leave fucking Chick-fil-A on the floor for the animals to scrap between and fight after. Clicking. Um, I told her about the glow up I had. And I showed her the my glow phone. up, brother. Look, you know, I'm not a pretty guy. Me to there's no need for people to pretend. Own up to what you are, mate. You look like a bloody League of Legend character had sex with Colonel Gaddafi. Like, it's not a good look, mate. It's like fucking else. Belongs on Looney Tunes. My bed sheets, because you know, most people clean their bed sheets once a year. I actually clean my bed sheets every three months. So these sheets. Are basically like so you meant to clean them like two weeks bro i mean i'm not going to pretend like i do but two weeks not once a year or once every three months like it's a single bed as well man she didn't want to be fucking spooning you all night she wanted a bit of breath away from your fucking greasy hair they're fresh and they smell good so if you guys have any advice look at that bitch you know? look look at that hmm hmm what's going on hmm 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 what's going on hmm why why did it not work guys help me out in the comments I think she was just a dud. Yes, brother, I think she's the dud. Look, I'm not trying to be mean here, but I think this is the most disgusting human being and individual I've ever met. His room is foul. He has cockroaches running around. He has half-drunk teas or coffees everywhere. Drunk food on the floor. Packaging. Literally a bread sandwich I can see there. Crisps on the floor. Scraps of food. It's disgusting. Like, it's rank. He's got rats. He's got moles in everywhere. Whatever the fuck. He'll have cockroaches. He has shoes. He has half a box of pasta. Like, how much food is he wasting as well? Like, his parents did him not rise it has a bin look at that as well he has a bin right next to it all just open it up you donk just open it up and throw it in the bin it's not a real big fucking deal and then he said oh this is just a gamers room i've never met a gamer look like a tramp like they're smoking crack on the weekend and playing roblox during the week just to fund it it's not normal this guy clearly has some fucking issues man i'm glad this girl didn't go around because we probably would never have seen her again let's be honest he probably has a fucking basement of weird shit and like he keeps people down there i don't know and i'm not trying to be mean to him Get a life, mate. Stop playing Roblox and play something serious like Minecraft or Call of Duty or I don't know. What what do people play these days? I, I really can't I can't tell you. But yeah, in conclusion, guys, this guy has to be like seriously on the uh, bit of a mental scale, leaving all this food, roaches, and then actually filming it and putting it on the internet. Bottles, oh, it's just disgusting. I can't believe what I'm looking at. It's absolutely foul. Lesson of the story: clean your room, otherwise you don't get females. And don't play Roblox because it's for children and people who are a bit um, mentally challenge shall we say i think that's the right word clean your rooms eat your food and don't play roblox